We're underway. The Delta is trying to avenge their loss from last week. Ball through and just tipped over by Vega. Is that... Definitely more of a cross than the shot, but it certainly forced Vega into him to tip that ball up over the crossbar. Now, this is, of course, a point in the match where the Deltas feel like they have the opportunity here from the set piece. Portilla's already had one goal from a corner kick in Olympico this season. Decent ball in, two men in the box. Chance for Heinemann now. Heinemann holding up. Heinemann with the left foot tries to flick it in, and it just cleared away by Vega. What a tricky shot by Tommy Heinemann with his left foot. And Daniel Vega with the huge dive to keep this a nil-nil game, but it will be a corner for San Francisco. The best goalkeeper in the NASL as it currently stands. Made a tremendous save there, a reaction save to palm that up and over the crossbar off a tricky shot, like you said, from Tommy Heinemann. But the Deltas are very much in this match, Jason. Point to touch it. And here's another look at Tommy Heinemann's tricky shot. Lovely turn, first time shot. Yeah, that's a tremendous save. Outstanding from Daniel Vega, the Argentinian, with an outstanding save. Make it to the championship playoff for the soccer bowl as Miami is in on the attack. Chance now. Shot tipped away. Rebound. Score! Miami FC draws first blood as Romuald Pacer got the first stop, but the rebound banged home by the visitors. Enzo Ranella against the run of play has given Miami FC a one-goal lead. And just like in the game last week, Miami are excellent at mopping up Opportunities missed by the Deltas. Pesar made the initial save, but tipped it right in front for Ranella to tap home. And it's Richie Ryan with a strong run forward to pass out to the left. There's the initial shot. It's palmed away by Pesar, and Ranella just gets in front of Maris and Tissot to make it 1 0. Ranella steps up left footed, slides it home. It's 2 0 Miami. Pesar gets the right way, but a sweetly positioned penalty from Ranella. Two goals. Vincenzo Ranella in the match. And Miami FC on their way to three more points. I'm in a dangerous spot. They'll swing it inward. Back post. Score! Miami FC takes a 3-0 lead on the header by Quadwo Poku. And with so many weapons on the field, Jason, it's just hard to keep track of where everyone is at a particular moment. Poku is unmarked. A powerful header past Pezer. No chance to stop that one. And the route is on once again as Miami now lead by three. Fourth goal of the season for Poku. And it's starting to get ugly here at Kizar. Nothing Romuald Pesser could do with that one. For Miami, and here's a replay of the goal. Pokus on the right of our screen, breaks away from the play. Portilla doesn't pick him up, and he heads home. To 10 men, Jackson, across in, deflected shot, stopped off the post is Tommy Heinemann with a beautiful deflection. And Daniel Vega well, getting some help from the post. Keys are a glimmer of hope. Look at this ball in from Jackson. Flicked by Heinemann. And Not it a... even came off the underside of Vega's body and it still didn't go in. And then Freeman swipes it away off the line. Unbelievable. And Luban is taking over in the left midfield position. So fresh legs here for the Deltas. Steven sends it over. Now back into the box. Heinemann scores! Tommy Heinemann gets one back for San Francisco, down 10 men. Luban has only been on the pitch for 30 seconds, but he delivers a peach of a cross, and Heinemann is there to head it home. The Deltas have a glimmer of hope, and they're back in the match, down by two. Tommy Heinemann absolutely pumped, scoring his team leading fifth of the season in the 71st minute, and the Kizar crowd's going wild. This is the sort of cross that they did not get from Tissot early, and Luban on his first opportunity puts it right where it needed to be, and Heinemann heads it home to make it 3-1.